$100 for shipment of X identical calculators. This is 300 X identical calculators. So 300 X would be like the average cost per calculator. You take the sum, divide by how many there are, that gives you the average. The merchant used two of the calculators as demonstrators and sold each of the others for $5 more than the average cost of the X calculators. The total revenue from the sale of the calculators was 100 more than the cost of the shipment. How many calculators were in the shipment? So you, to get total revenue, you do the quantity times price. Basically the quantity here times the price equals 420 because it's 120 dollars more than the original cost so it's 300 plus 120. So to get the quantity so they had X calculators but they didn't sell two of them they used two of them as demonstrators so the number of calculators they sold was X minus 2 and they sold that at a price that was five dollars more than the average. The average I originally got was 300 over X so that's plus five, five dollars more than the average to equal 420. So then we just solve for x. It's kind of a mess. I would probably distribute it to the numerator first. So x minus 600 for x plus 5. x minus 10 is 420. I'm going to get a common denominator here. So over x, so this needs to be 5x squared minus 10x over x, because then I can put all this together. This is uh, 300x minus 10x is 290x uh, minus 600 plus 5x squared. That's all over x equals 420. I'm going to multiply both sides by x, clear out that denominator. So that's going to be 420x here. Now it looks like a quadratic. Let's get it moved around though. It's 5x squared. Um, subtract 420x from 290x. Gives me minus 130x minus 600. Zero. Divide this whole thing by 5. Now reverse FOIL it. It's going to give me negative 26, uh, negative 30, positive 4. X minus 30, X plus 4. So X actually equals positive 30 or negative 4. It can't be negative. It's got to be positive because it's a real world amount. So 30.